Welcome everybody to this first episode of Bro Talk, uh, where we talk about things in life and important stuff, and uh, well, mostly like game Did reviews. You know? But I'm sure yeah. everything else will come <laughs> about eventually. That's important, right? But right now, most important thing in life is the Division beta that was recently released uh, once again. Uh, this time we played it for the Xbox One, uh, Xbox. We've, and we've got about 10 episodes on that that's going to be coming yep. up soon. Uh, but for today, we're going to give it our official Bro Talk review. Uh, so Jace, why don't you yep. start, it off, start us off with the first category. All right, so our first category today will be the graphics of uh, the game so far, as in the beta. So, uh, you know, overall, how did you think? I mean, I think the graphics were pretty decent. You know, for mm -hmm. a beta, of course. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, like you can see in the videos, the we have the rat. Like you can see, like the little rats. You could kill the little fucking rats. <laughs> um, the dogs were like the dogs were taking a shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that was too awesome. That was pretty good. But um, as far as like the layout, like I really like the graphical system on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, when you pulled up the map, it was very—it wasn't that hard to understand and yeah. navigate your way around. Yeah, one of the things that I liked about uh, now this was for the Xbox One, and of course the PC is always going to look better than the Xbox One unless we come out with a console that really is <laughs> <Right>. awesome <laughs> or PC. Oh you yeah, know, the really shitty PC like Jace's. Um, <laughs> but overall, I thought it really looked good. I—it I, was very smooth. Uh, barely noticed any hitching or framing uh frame glitches or anything yeah frame uh, rates frame rate was like... fantastic even when you're panning left or right with all these big buildings and stuff like that even in combat everything was pretty Very much fluid. smooth yeah. uh, so it looked really good uh in this you'll see that it's there's winter and it's snowing and it was christmas time well technically it was the black friday but it was cold enough because they're selling christmas trees and you can tell they're getting ready for christmas um, right it yeah. actually some fucked up happened. It felt cold. Like you watch the people, the animations were really good. People were oh, shivering. Yeah. You could tell like, yeah, there's, there's people, people shivering. Wandering. Like yeah. you just are like, oh man, this is like a cold, barren wasteland. Like if you watch like like Fallout, everybody it's a barren zone, but everybody's just kind of standing there, like waiting for you to talk to them. This place, right. it felt like they were kind of doing their own thing, and they were just like miserable and hungry, and like, and the dogs were cold, and everybody, like, it just yeah, they're like you, huddled up, taking shits everywhere. <laughs> you just had a feeling that there was a lot going on um, inside the category, uh, the, the corridors. Um, it was very well decorated. It looked like stuff was happening inside. Um, oh, yeah. it, there, there was a whole world going on inside too. Uh, you felt like you were exploring. I don't know New York very well, so I'm assuming they probably you know did a good job recreating some stuff. Yeah, I think um, we went to Madison Square Garden one time or something. Right. Like like I said, I yeah I've never been to New York. Either. Yeah, so it just it uh, looked cool. It looks iconic. I watched the a lot Glee episode where they went to New York. <laughs> if that counts. Yes, you are now a pro in New York uh, landmarks. Uh, right. But all that's being said, the weather looked really good. The graphics looked good overall. There was minor glitches. There were some minor stuff, and you may see that in some of the footage. But again, this is a beta. Uh, right. It's yeah, gonna it. be it's gonna be better by that time. There were right. some parts where like there was graffiti on the wall, and like if you got at a certain angle, it was cut off, and you would see the wall. So it was like some kind of yeah. whatever. But really, overall for a beta, like I'm just guaranteeing the game is gonna be. You know, gonna have all those figures. All right, out. so on scale one to ten for a beta game for graphics, what would you rate it? I would give it nine bros out of ten. Nine bros out of ten. I go eight point five bros out of ten. So why the point five? Just because I like to be original. <laughs> all <laughs> right. spice it up. Cause don't some controversy. Wanna, don't want to agree. Fuck the point five percent. All bros. right. So our next category is single player. So, as far as the story so far, from what we were able to figure out from the beta, how did you feel about it? Uh, you still didn't have quite a clue what was going on. Of course, it is the beta. And, and it is that way when it comes to um, a post-apocalyptic kind of things. You really don't know the full story, and you slowly got to piece it together. Uh, I didn't quite much know what was going on, because it seems like the whole theme is, okay, you're here, the situation is shitty... Uh, what you right. need to do is go find these people, and then let's make it less shitty. Uh, and that's pretty much the theme when it comes to all of these post-apocalyptic games. Um, right. But it did good, though. Uh, 
do you the people and, and that it kind of started us off like like i said i don't think it started us off at the beginning of the game i mm-hmm. i feel like um there's you know a bunch of content they'll have like for a beginning mm-hmm. and it'll move into where we were in the beta mm-hmm. like you dropping down that helicopter yeah i, I don't expect that there's going to be um, a huge story arc like you're not going to get involved with your character very much um, I don't see anything like relationships or romance happening. Oh, with no, people. it's not going to be like a, uh, uh, like Mass Effect or anything. Yeah, it's not going to be Mass Effect, um, or anything, but, uh, it's you'll just, definitely shoot some bitches. Yeah, that's pretty much what that seems to be about. And it's right. all, you know, so, uh, for story, I think the beta is going to be the same as the game. It's probably going to be a little bit interesting. It's finding out little tidbits, meanwhile, shooting bad guys in the face. And that's about what I say about that. Right, right. And I really like, as far as the missions go, um, I, I liked how they planned out the missions because basically you go from, uh, like you said, you go on a mission, retrieve this guy, bring him back mm-hmm. uh, to help with whatever the problem was. So, like, at mm-hmm. first it was the medical wing, and then it was the tech wing, and mm-hmm. then, you know, so you had to go and bring these important people back to get your stuff up and running so that you can, you know, further progress in, like, your customization ideas. Right, so, yeah. They they did a really good job of making you want to find these people and get them back, and it ties really. And then up. along the road, it had like those good side stuff, like uh-huh. uh, the instances, not instances, but uh, whatever they were called. Encounters. Encounters. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah. but all right. So I would give it. I for the si- single player Breda, I give it like as far as the story goes. Since I was a little bit confused mm-hmm. and stuff, I give it eight bros. Uh, I'm gonna go with seven bros out of ten. I there is no story. It's it's not supposed to have a big story, but being that's the category is how is a story. There isn't one, but it does a decent job of presenting one. I still give it seven. All right. Next category will be multiplayer. For me, I personally like the multiplayer mm-hmm. just because I like being a dick, going around, um, shooting people and stuff. So right. basically, the multiplayer. We you go into a zone, you go into the city, a zone in the city called the dark zone, and whatever you pick up in that dark zone, there's AIs and then there's real people. Mm-hmm. You can choose to kill the real people, the real people and the AIs, mm-hmm. and get loot and then right. extract it, which will allow you to have that loot in the single player. Right, I I and love I really that idea. Concept. Yeah, it was really clever because normally you don't see this crossing over of PvP and PVE very well. Uh, right. And they do it really well, not just like, oh, I found this thing, let me drag it over to PvE. It makes you have to earn it by going to an extraction zone. Meanwhile, so that means the AI are attacking you, and friendly or, or friendly or non-friendly other human player agents can come in right. and take your shit. And they can kill yeah, you. So, uh, yeah, and then, you know, when people, you know, they'll eventually, like, we saw one time it was a manhunt, like somebody had probably killed, like, it was killing everybody. Mm-hmm. And it was just a manhunt for these people. And that's cool. Like, you know, if there's, like, a real big threat of, like, someone taking everyone's stuff, it's like, manhunt, you get extra mm-hmm. stuff for killing this person. Now, we were kind of that way the last episode, so... Yeah, the last <laughs> episode was really good. Um, you guys should check it out. Yeah. We just run... Like, we survived a while. Yeah. We we were down to no ammo on all of our guns, except for, our, of course, pistols, unlimited mm-hmm. ammo. And we were just, like, come at us, bitches. Like, well, I had more ammo than you did. You ran out really quickly. I well, was yeah. too busy trying to swat it up, getting behind corners, and because they were progressively flanking, you would come in this one direction, I'd hide over here, and I'd flank across this way. Right. You know? But I mean, we killed at least five, six people, and oh know, no, we killed more than that. Because like, uh, at one point, it was, it was like two guys started betraying everyone else in the zone because we had like probably a- around eight people in this one extraction area. Mm-hmm. Two people started betraying everyone, so everyone was shooting each other, and then we just cleaned it up, and then waited for them to come back, and then we kept, you know. Mm-hmm. We killed a good amount of people. I really hope that people watch the end and be like, but there wasn't eight people. There was like three. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck we're you're surrounded about. on all sides. There was two guys. Two guys. Yeah, it was just three two guys. guys. It was like that one person over but and over. But for the multiplayer, I, I would give that a solid nine out of ten bros because I, I thoroughly enjoyed the concept, and I'm interested mm-hmm. to see what they'll keep doing with it. Um, I'm going to have to give the same score. I'm going to give nine out of ten bros. Um because it was it was different it felt interesting there was pv i always like when it's pvp ve which is right you know versus people and versus environment uh just it was it's very original it's a nice little twist 
uh, to a game. And I it floats so well between single player and multiplayer. Literally, you just walk into a fence line, to a gate, and then go on the other side, and now you're in PvP. You need to do it again, you're in PvE. It wasn't like you had to load up a match screen or anything right. like that. You just it wasn't like you had to wait 10 minutes to find a go. match. And stuff. So I, I appreciate how they do that. So that's right. why it gets my... Nine point. You know what? I'll give it an extra point two. Fuck that. Oh. An extra point two. Nine point two yeah. out of ten, bros. Damn. Okay. So, combat. I thoroughly enjoyed the combat. I thought um, it gave that like you know, every Tom Clancy game, you know, is like it's different in its own way, but it has that same feel with combat. It's always like mm. a, you know, a third person over the shoulder um, cover system. And, like, you know, Ghost Recon Future Soldier did that really well, but that was a more of a stealth. Mm-hmm. In um, The Division, you can actually choose between stealth or going guns blazing, mm-hmm. uh, set up, you know, certain things like coordinations. Uh, I had the hardest time with stealth against AI because it seemed like, for example, you get silencer weapons, but it says on the stats it only reduces their awareness of you by, like, 2.5%. Right. So, and there was one mission where, uh, it's one of the early episodes, where we went to this basketball court area, and we had a few people, and it was like, all right, you could stealth them if you want to, take them out one at a time. Now, something had happened, and I accidentally fired a trigger button, and it was a silenced weapon. It didn't hit anybody, but yet they all were alerted to it. So I was like, how the hell am I supposed to kill somebody? Yeah, but you gotta admit that it it does give it that... Which I, I would probably rather it not, but it does give it a little more realistic factor. Like if you just shot around, you know, in real life, it, oh. it does reduce the awareness. It doesn't. Oh, I agree with that, but they don't tell me I can stealth something <laughs> if I can't stealth it. Right, right. You know, maybe I could. Maybe they're trying to tell you that you could melee them, but right. it doesn't but, seem like they have. It seems like they have a lot of health, so that meleeing them was bad. Right. But I, I do like the variety of weapons, uh-huh. um, but and how the enemies actually like. There's tougher enemies that have more armor, uh-huh. and then other enemies. And they, there was a unique variety, at least like you know a couple of different versions, like in the beta. Like there was guys with shields, uh-huh. there was guys with flamethrowers. Oh, dude, those are um, jackasses. Yeah, and then the and then the cover system, like I said, Tom Clancy is known for like cover system. So um, the but- cover system was. Neat. Neat. Uh, neat. I don't know. See, I, I didn't. I, I. It took me a while to get used to the cover system because it's you know you press A and you get behind cover and it allows you to get you know around the corner and allows you to move to one point and that's cool. You hold A and you can automatically right. run to it and you can break free from it at any time. So that was nice and you can press B to vault over an item. Or, right. Uh, the yeah. only problems I had with it is like when I tried to like you know spam like get off a of cover or you know get right. into cover or something it would mess up a little bit right uh, uh and you wouldn't know what you were actually doing until it was like oh, pff, i'm doing a barrel roll now uh, i didn't know i was supposed to be doing that uh, yeah. i had a hard time progressing from one cover to the next it seemed like there was so much time spent like trying to line the mouse i mean you know the controller just right i want to be here and then moving over there right um but, I mean, you have to be a little more precise with it. Right, and it, it takes practice. Right. Um, I just like the Gears of War cover system better. Uh, it just... hey, but granted, it was a beta, so right. they're probably going to polish it up a lot. I, I hope so. Overall, uh, it's not bad. It just takes getting used to. Right. What would you give your uh, bro rating? Uh, are we done with the whole? With just that? Is that it for mechanics? Um, well, I don't know. I'll say a little bit more, actually. Well, uh, combat, I mean. Well, combat. Uh, I have to say, uh, what I liked about it is. The, the firing of it was nice. You didn't feel too powerful. Like, if you had an automatic weapon, like, mm. two out of the three bullets, like, one or out of the three bullets was going to miss. So you couldn't just, like, nail it every time. Right. Especially from a longer range. Uh, they had, you know, you had scopes, they had different silencers, had different, you know, mods. Had, of course, we only saw a few um, that helped and whatnot, right. laser scopes and all things like that, different sights. Um, so that, you know, added a little bit to it. Uh, the gunplay felt nice. The one thing that kind of upset me was um, the AI was sometimes really accurate, though they oh, shouldn't yeah. be. 
Like honestly, like you got that more like, than I did. Like gangsta lean sidearm from a quarter <laughs> yeah. mile away, and they are just nailing like, me. Running, gangster <laughs> shooting, grabbing their crotch while doing it, and I'm just like, how is it? Like Phil, you were getting hit a lot, but me, like even when they focus on me, sometimes I wasn't getting hit as accurately as you got hit. Like uh-huh. I didn't notice that. I was I mean, cause now Jace always moves in front, so because he found a shotgun early on, and yeah. he just started just poof. poof. And yeah. I'm in the back. I'm I'm trying to snipe. I got a shotgun people. and a submachine gun. And like this dude is in the back corner, behind cowering behind a bush on the quarter side on the other side of New York. And he looks around, gangster <laughs> leans to the side. It's like, ooh, I think I see this pop, pop. half of a pixel quarter mile away. Let me fire he takes at pop it. Pop shots and hits you directly. I'm just like, well, son of a bitch. Uh, and Jace is just like running up in front of him, like, "Hey guys, I got a shotgun. You want to set me in the face? <laughs> oh no, I got this guy way in the fucking back out there." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so I mean, that's just AI. That's aimbotting. They can't help right. that. So, and the skills were cool. The abilities that we're able to access. You had the turrets. You had. Mm-hmm. I really like the concept of if you want to play a more support uh, class, mm-hmm. right. you can shoot the healing thing. Right. And out of your uh, like so, rocket launcher right, type. There thing. was sticky bombs. They had turrets. Yeah. It had healing. They had different types of scanners. It had scanners. the shield. That was a neat idea. Yeah. I didn't play around with it as much as uh, I probably should have, but. Um, we could probably do a, that, like where you have the pistol and the shield, and I'm right behind you with a shotgun, or I have the shield, or whatever. Since, are you, you gonna know. even be, be having me with a sniper rifle? Like, that, that seems stupid. No, well, this, it's really slow to aim with a sniper rifle, man. It's really hard to like quick draw. Yes, I know. I was using one like most of the time. <laughs> so yeah, you get the good shit. Uh, <laughs> I get all the good weapons. All the fun weapons. Here I am with a fucking assault rifle yeah. the entire time. But um, overall, like you know. Um, combat like the ai system and everything I, you know cover system stuff like that i give it a seven out of ten bros uh i think i'm gonna give that an 8.5 actually as much as i complain about the ai you can't help with ai uh the combat was really good my only real gripe was the actual uh cover system mm-hmm. uh, anything else besides that uh, it was fantastic I thought, yeah i thought it was good all right, and our last category, which is customization, my favorite um, thing about the game, personally. Mm-hmm. I really like customization. Uh, from the weapons, mm-hmm. uh, allowing you to put like magazine, different magazines, different scopes, different silencers, or you know any other attachment on the barrel. Mm-hmm. Um, as well as, like, you can eat, there was even options for a paint, like mm-hmm. skin, yep. um, even though I didn't get any. Right, um, there you go. And then the the wings, like once you go on the missions, you bring back the people that unlocks the wings. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you do encounters that gr- uh, grant you resources, so you can level up your abilities mm-hmm. through that. Yep. That was a really unique system, and like you can upgrade the abilities you already have, so you can probably get stronger heals later mm-hmm. on. Um, you know, and and the like I said, the weapon customization was just was nice. Uh, it was very uh, Mass Effect ish. For those of you that play Mass Effect 2, you had these upgrade bays and you had to get resources to be able to get specific uploads. So right. there's three main wings. There's tech wing, security wing, and security. medical medical tech, security. Oh. Uh, yeah, tech. And so, you know, like you said, you do encounters and you get these medical resources. You go to the medical bay, you upgrade your resources. Uh, and for example, and you'll see it in one of the videos, um, I unlocked one thing. And you have your standard... Um, uh, what does you call that? The pulse that actually found it for enemy radar and stuff like that. Right, right, the scanner. Right. If you get enough uh, medical resources, you actually get a custom, uh, a modifiable one that, or one that was where you can find loot with it. One that makes you, you know, inde- undetectable to enemies. One that uh, right. reaches out further. And they There's all have different a, modifications. Yeah, a bunch to of it. different things depending on what your goal is for the game. Right. So there is a whole bunch of levels to that. Right. So, uh, my only complaint with the customization was the actual process of doing so. It was a little clunky. Like if you, like for example, attaching a weapon, it says press A to you know attach you know attach a weapon, and you press A and it's like, all right, if you want to attach a weapon, go back to the gun and press X. Well, why the fuck would you tell me to press A to attach the mod? You're going to tell me that I need to press X to actually do the mod. I didn't. I didn't have a problem. All I do is press X to mod it, and then I'd go into. I don't know, but it, 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 people just figuring it out, trying to learn how to do it. They didn't cover that too right. well. Uh, 
but that's a small gripe. There's a lot to yeah, that there's going to be able to do. I just I, thought the UI for it was a little clunky, and it seems there's a lot of information, and you're trying to figure out, oh, do I have right. this mod for this part? Oh, no, I only have this I, thing. I do like how it... Uh, with the guns going into that is you could you had an option like if you had a bunch of attachments on one gun mm. and you don't want to use that gun anymore instead of having to go and attach them all individually or right. detach them you could um just strip your gun you had an mm -hmm. option to strip it and also um if you're if you're wanting to move an attachment to another weapon you just have to go to that weapon and uh put the same attachment on it and it says like you can move it to that weapon right so that was nice that was convenient because yeah. you forget like certain mods that you may have and you don't have to right. sit there go through your inventory like oh wait, oh, wait this mod was for this was on this one mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah. so there was some parts of the ui got right and made it uh, a little streamlined exactly. yeah it was some good quality of life stuff right um, um, for the customization I, I you know like i said i thoroughly enjoyed it um especially like all the cool like you know turrets um and of course they had more down the road um mm -hmm. that we couldn't have access to but turrets like shields and then uh, being able to upgrade that further mm -hmm. you know I, i'm interested interested to see you know what they'll do more with that um like if they'll ever be you know you ha we have the sticky bombs but if there ever mm -hmm. will be like explosive like like c4 type things like you know planted on the ground or something but like i said you kind of have the sticky bomb for that so yeah um, but customization, I, I I really enjoyed it, so I'll give it a uh, a nine point one bros. I, I think I'm still like salty about how confused <laughs> I was about the cube. So I, only you would be confused <laughs> by it. I uh, know it may it, it might be me. I might just be a dumbass, and everybody else is like, "What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't have any problem." Yeah, I, well, I didn't have that problem. I just well, exactly because you're not a dumbass. Well, in in, a lot, in this situation, other situations, I'm not gonna you know. He's uh, making points on there. Set it so, here today, folks. We have it recorded. I'm I'll delete this video. <laughs> I'll delete this video right now, motherfucker. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with 8.5. I'm going to go with 8.5. 8.5, bros. Okay. 8 .5 bros. So, we went through the categories. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed playing the beta. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course, there's only so much you could do before mm -hmm. it was like, okay, it's repetitive because, I mean, it is a beta. Right. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the beta. So, an overall score, mm. we must come to an agreement on. Wait, we have to come to an agreement? We must come to an agreement. How the fuck would we do that? <laughs> Everything else, we have our own score, but now we got to agree. I know, with each other. but now that we have our own, we have our own scores, but we must decide on an overall score. Hmm. Me personally, for a beta, I would, I would think a, an either. At the lowest, a 7.8 bros. At the highest, an 8.2 bros. Really? I was yes. going to go a good bit higher than that. I was going to say that my minimum was 8.5 and that my really? highest was 9 as an overall package. Um, well, just because of, some, you know, like, I mean, granted, it, like I said, it is a beta. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you, you do have, but... Like you said, you do. We did encounter like you know some bugs. Mm -hmm. uh, we did, you know, the you know customization thing for you wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, well, I you know I I'd be fair in giving it an eight point five pros, um, at least for a beta, mm -hmm. just because like the most salty thing for me is I didn't get to um, have as much like upgrade mm -hmm. stuff as I would want. Like I I right. didn't. Like, I don't really care about progressing in the story because I want to save that anyways. Right. But, uh, you know, that and then also the saltiness, probably more so for you, is drops. Mm -hmm. The drops of the enemies yeah. seemed, like, lackluster. I, yeah, I, I can see that. But, again, beta. Right. Like, this is all this is all a beta uh, rating. But may, so. it, I, I assume that they did that, though, to make you want to go into Dark Zone a bit more, because that's where the good shit is anyway. Mm -hmm. But most of the time when we did a Dark Zone, it seemed like there was, like, just gloves and <laughs> backpacks. And I, got, I got a glove. Small, like, I, I found, like, one gun out of all that. So, right. But I still think with the 8.5 um, is going to be the most fair that I can give this for a beta. All right. So, 8.5 bros, overall score. We're agreed. We agreed. All right. All right, guys. Well, that is our The Division review. 
and it was quite uh, a little more serious than our other ones so <laughs> you know actually fun fact that um 6.4 million people played the beta this um this past beta huh. uh for the that last that last weekend that's a lot of people's yeah that's a lot of people so um uh, so 8.5 good fair rating and when it comes out uh we are definitely getting it so yeah. so you'll probably see some feature videos right uh, of us pretty soon after it well, comes out that's comes out in like march right march 8th march yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's not so too we'll, long. We'll away. be playing that. Um, you know, we'll we'll go through the single player and and of course we'll do some dark zone stuff. Mm. We'll probably do some dark zone stuff in between so we can get some good stuff for the single player. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, Wait. I think that should be it. Huh? Yep. I think so. So uh, thank you so much for joining us on our first and hopefully not last episode of Bro Talk. <laughs> Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Yes. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for games you want to see us review or play in general, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Message us. You you know subscribe Definitely. to us. Give us a thumbs up. Put it up our bums. I don't care where you put it. Uh, right. Just, just keep watching when you're doing up. it. Yep. That's what matters most. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Bro Ops. I'm Jace. I'm Phil. Later. Peace. Uh, blow, blow me. Blow me, motherfucker. Blow you or below. Let's just move around a little bit. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh! Ah shit, I'm hurt. Ah! Ha! Are you gonna melee? Oh nice. B. Oh! Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so don't get under the dropship. <laughs> oh, that's